my channel. Today's video is going to be my thoughts on video on the Sephora Beauty Insider Bare Minerals Color Me Clean. So I redeemed this off the Sephora website um, using 500 points. I've accumulated a lot of points in, uh, in the last few years and I haven't actually redeemed anything in a while. So I thought, you know what? I was ordering something and I would like to treat myself to, you know, some new products to try out. And Bare Minerals has been an oldie and goodie kind of like brand that I've gravitated towards in the past. So I thought this was a great opportunity to basically uh, try out some new products. I do see some new ones here. And of course, have a oldie but goodie. Um, this is their Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. Um, and I used to love using them because it's a great way to like basically set your makeup. Anyways, with that being said, I wanted to, I guess, let you guys know what are my thoughts on these products. Of course, you can purchase these um, off the Sephora website um, in full size or I think some of them, they have it in deluxe size samples. But I don't think this kit is available off their website anymore. But I thought, you know, it's still worth a shout out on these products of, you know, what I think. So the box looks like this. Very chic, uh, very clean, you know, with the black and white polka dots. On the inside, it has a little message um, of you redeeming your 500 points. And of course, the products inside. They're all deluxe size samples. So I'm gonna start off with the mineral veil that I mentioned before. Um, I really like it. It still feels the same, even though for about two or three years, I've stopped using them and I, I don't know why I stopped. Honestly, it's probably because I was gravitating towards other products that I had on hand and I wanted to finish. It, it's great. I really like it. It's just that because it's in a sample size It's hard to swirl your brush onto the cap because it's mineral base and it's like a powder form. It can get quite messy um, I usually tap my brush in here and then put some in here or vice versa I throw some in the cap and I swirl it around so it it evenly distributes it onto my brush so that I can just like you know um, swirl it all over my face Love it still as good as before a new product here that I've um, tried out in this kit is the Bare Minerals Lashtopia Mega Volume Mineral Base Mascara. So this is how big it is. Um, it's definitely more than a deluxe size sample, I have to say, uh, but of course not a full size. This is how the brush looks like. I have odd lashes, one side that is very sparse, the other side, and, and but holds curls. The other side, a little bit more volume, but is kind of like this half the time. Even though you try to curl it, it doesn't stay. <laughs> it just doesn't stay. So when I use this, this is fine. It does what it usually does. This side of my eyes basically look like I have spiders. <laughs> so I don't know if I love it or hate it. Not that many people can see my natural lashes anyways, um, but I do notice that it does transfer a little, especially when you wear it throughout the day and you know your face starts to oil up. So next product I have here is the Bare Minerals Bronzer. It is the Endless Summer Bronzer in Warmth. So this is the size of it, you know, just fairly small um, because it's, it's a sample size. This is how it looks like. No mirror. I miss those days when they used to add mirrors on the even the sample sizes. I did try to, you know, basically put some bronzer on my cheeks. I don't use a lot of bronzer to be honest. So to me, this is great as an eyeshadow base in fact, or like just a darken um, or a mixture of it, because this is like a pod to me, like an eyeshadow pod. Um, if you use a bigger brush to actually um, apply it onto your face, it is much harder to pick up the product. Um, so do use, I guess, a smaller one, which I guess should make sense, right? Because it is a deluxe size sample. But it's great to carry around, so if you're one of those people that likes to, you know, shape your face a little bit with bronzer, nice to carry around. The other two products that's left in this box are actually lip products, which I was quite excited to try. <laughs> um, I, I haven't been trying new lippies in a while, so that's why I thought, oh, this is great. So this one right here is the Bare Minerals uh, Bare Pro. Oh, this is a long wear lipstick in petal. I actually really, really like it. It's like a, to me, it's like my version of the Barbie pink, but very nude nude kind of pink. So I do have this on my lips, um, but I mixed the two um, that I have, like the two lip products that were in this kit. So I love it. Goes on super buttery. It is matte, definitely long lasting, but it does transfer. <laughs> so when you're drinking something, it definitely transfers to something else. The other one, like I mentioned, is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude uh, Patent Lip Lacquer. 
And this shade is in Impout. Back in the days, I know when we get these kinds of kits, it only comes in, you only get this. You don't get an information pack, but now they do. So that, that is a difference in terms of packaging wise. So it'll give you some information on the product itself and how it basically looks like on different skin tones. I actually really like this color. I love the color. So it comes out as a doe foot applicator. Super thick though. So this is how it looks like. Super thick. Um, I love mixing both of them together. Um, it does feel quite heavy on my lips though. So if you're a type of person that likes it light and everything, this might not be something for you. But it is a lip lacquer, so it's not a lip gloss per se, but it does give you that glossiness, so that's something I like. Definitely transfers. But even when it transfers, I find that this still lasts on your lips. Like, how many times you like drink your cup of coffee or whatever and it transfers onto your cup but honestly there's still remaining um it still looks good on your lips is what i'm trying to say <laughs> can't speak today but yeah so those are the two lippies that are in here um whether i wear them by itself or together i still think it's really really nice it's very nude it's every, very everyday kind of wear for me anyhow those are my thoughts on these products here um i definitely think it was worth my 500 points because Really, I haven't been redeeming anything or trying anything new from their, um, I guess, Beauty Insider collection in terms of like redeeming points. So this was a fun little experiment and getting to try out new things and, and you know, finding an oldie but goodie, reintroducing it back into my, uh, I guess, you know, my routine when I do my makeup. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if so, remember to give me that thumbs up. I'll try to upload new videos, and make sure you are subscribed. Turn on that little bell for notification. I shall see you guys in my next one. Bye!